Hello everyone, it's lovely to see you. Welcome back to our third online Kids Friday. It's really good to have you here. We'll be carrying on this week with our series on what God is like. And last time we saw that God is holy. Thank you for sending me your crafts, they looked fantastic. I'd love to see some more this week, so do send some through to me on email. This week we'll be looking at the fact that God is three persons. Just like last week, we'll be discussing some questions together, uh, we'll be looking through a Bible passage and we'll be praying together. Uh, and there's a craft that you can do at the end and that Laura Leach um, has done for us. So do check that out, it'll be under the video in the discussion box. To start off with, I'd love to know if you could have any superpower in the whole entire world, what would it be? Discuss it together, pause the video and then come back again when you're ready to start. I wonder what your superpower would be. Maybe you'd want to be invisible, maybe you'd want to be able to fly, maybe you'd want to be in three places at once. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Maybe email me to let me know. Now the second question I'd, that I'd like you to discuss is, if you could describe God in just three words, how would you describe him? Again, pause the video, and then press play again when you're ready to start. I wonder when you were discussing then whether you chatted about the fact that God is three persons but there's only one God. We'll be looking at this today. There is one God. He is the living God of the Bible. There is no other God. The Bible is clear that there is one God and that our one God is three persons. To help us understand this better, I want to tell the story of Jesus being baptised. This can be found in Mark chapter 1 verses 9 to 11. Let's read those verses together. At that time, Jesus came from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the place where John was. John baptised Jesus in the Jordan River. When Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven open. The Holy Spirit came down on him like a dove. A voice came from heaven and said, You are my son and I love you. I am very pleased with you. Pause the video now and discuss this question. Who are the people we find in this story? In this story, we meet Jesus. We meet the spirit who is pictured as a dove and we hear a voice from heaven who is God. I've got something for you to do at home. I'd like you to pretend to be Jesus in this story. Now, this is Jesus's baptism, so Jesus has to go under the water to be baptised. If you will get a washing up bowl with a little bit of water in it and stand in it. Start by crouching down and when someone says go, you're going to come up out of the water and stand up straight. Why don't you practice that now? Pause the video and practice it and then press play again when you're ready to start. Now you need someone to be God the Father. It could be one of your family members. Make sure you ask them first. Now, no one could see God the Father when Jesus was baptised. They just heard a voice. So someone's going to have to hide and shout really loudly, 
This is my son who I love. Why don't you practice that now? Again, pause the video and practice it. Then press play again when you're ready to start. I would like someone else to be the Holy Spirit. Now people who saw this Holy Spirit saw him come down onto Jesus. They said the Holy Spirit didn't look like a person. That day he appeared as a dove. But we're going to have to manage with you flapping your arms like a dove. When you're ready, you've got to run from a corner of your room and then run to Jesus and pretend to land on him by standing next to him. Why don't you practice that now? Again, pause the video, practice it and then come back when you're ready. It's time to put it all together. You'll need someone to be John the Baptist. Jesus had to come to see John the Baptist. John baptised Jesus by pushing him under the water and then lifting him out. But then, as Jesus came up out of the water, something amazing happened. Are you ready to put it, put it all together? Ready, steady, go! What makes this event so special? is that it is one of the few times in the Bible where we see all three persons of God mentioned at the same time. Did you notice in the story that we saw or heard God the Father, we saw Jesus who is God the Son, and we saw God the Holy Spirit at exactly the same time doing different things. We know that God the Father is God because it is God the Father who created everything in the beginning. We know that Jesus is a man who was born and lived on earth, but Jesus is also God. In Hebrews 1 verse 3, we read that he is an exact copy of God's nature. He is exactly God. The Holy Spirit is God too, because he works in us to make us more like Jesus. We have God living in us at work to change our hearts and minds to make us more like Jesus. That's God, the Holy Spirit. So, God is three. God the Father, Jesus, God's Son, and the Holy Spirit, God with us. And each of those three is really fully God. I think that almost everyone finds this hard to understand, but the Bible teaches us that this is true. Here are some discussion questions for you now. Why not work through them and then when you've finished, press play again and we'll start. Isn't this amazing? God gives us the Bible so we can know about all three persons, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit and this bit of the Bible. What an amazing hero we have. Is there any other hero who can save us because he is the Son, love us because he is the Father, and help us because he is the Holy Spirit? No, there's not. God is the greatest hero because he is one God, but three persons. Let's pray together to finish. Dear God, Thank you that you are the only God. Thank you for giving us the Bible so we can learn about all three persons, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Please help us to believe this is true, to find out more about it, um, even when it's really hard. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. It's been great to have you. 
Uh, there's a craft video just below, so click on the link that's below this uh, video. Um, thank you for joining. Please do send me some pictures of your crafts. I'd love to see them. Be here same time, um, same place next week. See you then. Bye.